Pro Hockey's win against Fairfax for Treasurer for Sale, and Chinese businessman Chow Chak Wing's win against the Herald for suggesting he had bribed a UN official. Another who could also benefit from the public interest defence would be ABC journalist Steve Kinane. In a case that's winding up this week after seven weeks in court, Kinane is being sued for his book Fair Game by two doctors from Sydney's Chelmsford Hospital, who were named and shamed in the 1990 Royal Commission into allegations of medical malpractice at the hospital that led to 24 deaths. The decision to allow that case to proceed effectively meant... The author and publisher could not rely on the conclusions of the Royal Commission. To defend themselves, they would need to prove anew that all the imputations were in fact true. That is surely a ridiculous exercise. But until these changes take effect, it is the reality of our defamation laws. So, will the reforms happen and will they have the desired effect? Matt Collins told me to watch. The reforms, if passed, will send a clear message from Parliament to the courts that they are expected to provide better protection to freedom of expression. Meanwhile, another media law expert, Professor David Rolfe, told me to watch. The public interest defence is a transplant. It may take in a new environment, or it may not, or it may not take in the way that its drafters intend. And writing in crikey, Michael Bradley told readers... Fingers crossed this one gets through. It would be an absolute game-changer for freedom of the press in Australia. Then we just have to hope the courts don't stuff it up. The public interest defence has been operating successfully in Britain for many years, so Australian courts really should be able to make it work if they want to.